Um, above the clouds, Paul Weller. Um, up in the volume on this, this is the second time I've done it. Um, so they can actually hear me, which is a, I think that's a good thing. Um, right, let's put onto the strings so you can actually see the strings. Okay, starts bar on the fourth fret. Uh, little finger on the seventh fret of the A string, ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string. That's an E major seven. And you've got an open E string. And you're going to move them over one, those two fingers, and add the middle finger to the B string at the second, at the uh, fifth fret. Three fills. That's the first one. He lays the little finger over onto the seventh fret, the first four strings. Up stroke, back to that same E major seven. Second one is a is a slide seven up to nine. First three strings, back to that E major seven. And the last one, the complicated one. Is a bar on the ninth fret with a little finger on the eleventh. Then you kind of you drop it down two strings and roll the other two fingers over. So you to the uh, ninth fret of the D string and the eighth fret of the G. Back to that E major seven. You get a bit quicker the more you do it. Uh, then it's into the chorus, and we do a run up the A string. So it's from the second to the fourth. Second fret of the G, uh, D string. Hit the fourth string again, and then get the bar across. First one is an F sharp minor seven. Up to a G sharp minor seven, so that's just two frets up. And you can put a fill in if you want. And it finishes with a B7. Which is O two one two O two. It's quite a difficult chord to play actually, I don't, I don't like that chord. Uh, he plays it up here sometimes, so it's up on the 7th fret, uh, the 8th fret of the G string, ninth fret of the B. Back to our E major 7. So I'll play all that through, so the verses. Never knowing which way's on. Above the 
the clouds I had to wonder Not be around And then we're going into the bridge um, As my anger shouts C sharp minor Bar on the fourth fret with an A minor shape, so that A minor down here, bring it up to the sixth fret. So an F sharp minor. Three times. Now that A you can play there, there. Well, this one sounds really nice. So, so it's. So that A up here is bar on the ninth, um, tenth fret of the B string, uh, and the eleventh fret on the D string to a B, which is a E shape, brought up to the uh, ninth fret bar on the seventh. And then you're back to, uh, and then he starts playing some octaves. So you, you're basically putting your little finger on the B string at the seventh fret, the index finger on the fourth string, uh, fourth fret of the D string, and you've got to keep them those distance apart. Just playing those octaves, just, just strumming those two strings. It goes from seven to nine to twelve. So it's seven to nine. 12, 14, back to 9, and then that slide again. Just keeping that distance apart. You don't have to worry about that strip, that finger, as long as you just keep keep that same shape on your, on your hand. Like you've got rigor mortis. And the second time up, same same start, straight up to 14, to 12, 10, okay, um, obviously rewind that and play it again to I'm not going for it again. I'd say ages. Okay, so he does that, uh, and then what we we'll back to? Back to the verse, I suppose. Um, and another chorus. Um, and I think then he goes to play in this um, uh, run and hide, run and hide. So it's like an outro, but he also does that um, octaves as well. So. So run and hide. I don't know how he does it really. I don't know how he goes from that and then into the octaves. It's it's really really difficult. So so you can just carry on going from that E sharp uh, E major seven. He goes. It's 
up there, so I want to... It's the same chords that you used on that fill. Something like that, anyway. You've got the chords. You can mess around with it yourself and see how you get on. I hope that's been clearer and uh, louder from me. Cheers.